Stoppers. What time of day do they usually hunt? Does it matter? With leopards, not really. Huh? They don't like the heat of the day. Uh -huh. um, but um, any any of the cooler time and at night. Eh? For a long time they thought that leopards were nocturnal, but they're not really. They're crepuscular. So they just move around during the cooler hours. Easy to use it just now. It's actually quite hard. So. You're gonna slip on that tree, it's got no bark, dude. So, when he first got it, yeah, would he do the same thing that the lions do and gorge on it? Yes, but not to the extent that lions do. Lions, like their bellies, are so swollen that they, they can't even walk, they just waddle around. He'll, if he puts it up in a tree, he can eat it at his leisure, but he will eat as much as, uh, as much as he can the first time, just in case he loses it. There's not many things that are going to take a, a kill away from a big male leopard like this though, okay? unless he leaves it on the ground, in which case the hyenas or the lions could do that. And there's the impala just over there. Oh yeah. Hanging out. Yeah. I'm surprised that the impala haven't seen him there. Mm -hmm. Well, when the birds usually start making noise? Um, sometimes they do. Yeah. But uh, in this the case, noise. obviously not. Yeah. 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 Sometimes they do, particularly if the if if it's on the ground. There it goes. There it goes. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> At least to put it back in that fork. Yeah, he's trying to. And he's trying to do it. And eat at the same time. He's just trying to optimize. Yeah, he's trying to get to the only pieces of meat left. Okay, buddy, are you going to take it back up again? No. I don't think so either. Put it in those shrubs there. Yeah. He's going to come through. He's going to put it right in that shrub, dark place there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that would be a good place for him. Yeah. Right, keep going. This is hiding it now. But the hyenas will find it by tonight. Oh, no. 